2D to 3D design. Simon's NX10 gives the user the ability to create layouts on a sheet that can then be copied to a 3D environment. This layout can then be conjoined and manipulated further into a component or assembly. This type of transition can be useful when converting old CAD files to update that may only contain drafting .dwg files without an attached model or if the model file was corrupt or misplaced. In this tutorial, we will be going over the settings within layout, creating and copying a 2D draft into a 3D environment to form. An example of this scenario would be opening or converting an old CAD file and finding out that the model is nowhere to be found. But proceeding to application and into drafting mode, the draft is still present. By proceeding to the ribbons toolbar into drafting tools, just to become a little more familiar, you're able to insert different types of annotation for end cuts, continuity, seams, junctions, sections, and different types of part names to be specified anywhere within the drawing. You can populate the title block, define a, define a custom title block, uh, edit the borders and zones, and going to the next tab, Layout, you are presented with an array of settings that are very familiar to the Home Drafting Tools settings, where you're able to dimension and put certain types of annotation into the draft. So since our model was missing and lost somewhere within the conversion or updating of the file, we will create the model with layouts utilizing the Copy to 3D setting. By proceeding into it, we're given two different types for selecting curves or view, we will select our curves, and this gives us the ability to select the curves attached to the top sketch. Then by selecting the top view, we give it its location in the 3D environment, and we can manually position the geometry or automatically reposition the geometry and then and align it more accurately than the automation. And we will do so to all three views, the front, right, and top. By a bounding box curves to copy method. And it will create the sketch in the model history. Now by entering back into the model mode, we can see the results of our 2D to 3D copying. The automation method is close, but we will position them more accurately. Now we can begin extruding.
and that concludes our 2D to 3D tutorial.